Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 10 of the Yugoslavia. Let's play. Let's get straight into the game. Now today we will be invading Romania finally. We have prepared a strong enough army to invade them. And we have upgraded the units we uh, got over here. We can upgrade again because we have got higher level artillery and infantry. But we're not going to do that and keep waiting. Romania did go inactive unfortunately now but uh, yeah, that probably won't change much, they will, but yeah, that probably won't change much since they were basically inactive anyway. Well then, uh, front port styles, we just uh, built some stuff, I suppose, mostly industry and uh, some militarizing, some barracks, as you can see, so that's pretty good. Zadar is still building up to level 5, it's almost there though, which is great. We can keep building up the barracks as well, so let's do just that. Other than that, uh, local industry is great. And all together I think I'd say uh, militarizing is going pretty well. Let's build Dubrovnik up to level 3 as well. Let's start making some artillery as well. And uh, building some infantry too. Level 6 by the way, so that's pretty damn strong. Anyway, today we can see economy since it is day 10. Turkey actually has a bigger economy than us by like 10,000, which isn't that significant, but they certainly do have a bigger economy. They are invading uh, India, which is interesting though. Yeah, definitely very interesting. Anyway, British Egypt uh, expanding a bit into the UK colonies in Arabia. They might even take out Saudi Arabia, it seems. Oh, they are inactive though, they are inactive. So that's, uh, that's pretty interesting, I guess. Anyway, France is also taking Burma. Japan is also still active, taking out uh, the Philippines fully. Most US American islands here and Hawaii fully as well, not landing in uh, the United States yet. But other than that, well, the world uh, is pretty chill, not that much changed. Latvia joined the war against the USSR, it seems, and uh, Finland hasn't pushed much further. USSR seems to be on the same, uh, same position as yesterday. Sweden's still fighting against uh, Norway. I think they are looking a bit better here in the north than they were. So they might win the war eventually, it will definitely take a while though. Alright, uh, well, France is fighting the UK, looks like they destroyed Paris, or at least to a great extent. And uh, France is fighting back, they seem like uh, they're going to land in the UK, or at least try to do that. They're also taking out Ireland fully, which they almost already have. Other than that, well, America isn't very active, Brazil and Argentina are though, but other than that, nothing else. That's still very interesting though, I suppose. Anyway, we're going to invade Romania today, as I said. This should be a pretty easy invasion, so let's already start, so let's declare war. And there we go. Before we start uh, pushing in and invading really, let's check our unit count. It is currently 43 units, not very much, 2300 on units every day. That's still pretty weak, but it is decent enough. Anyway, let's start pushing in. We'll go take uh, Timisoara over here and then uh, we'll keep pushing all the way over here through Romania. We won't be using much artillery uh, here especially. So let's go through here like this. Then we can get through this, we can bomb these units over here, while uh, with the rest we'll actually keep moving through and into these mountains, later taking the city as well. Now let's just take the entire mountains, all of Transylvania. There we go. And here we're just gonna move across, try to capture Bucharest, the Romanian capital, and then just keep going over here into the north, taking a... Uh, this city as well, and all of Moldova, hopefully. So there we go. With this, we're gonna have a similar objective. We actually don't have a heavy tank here, so this will be a lot weaker of our army group, but still, I think we should be able to easily push through. We don't have that much to take. Just take Constanta and then uh, go over here to the north, just like that. I think that should go well. I think it should be successful. I think we should be able to basically fully annex Romania by uh, 24 hours by uh, next video. I really believe so. So there goes that. Uh, we are building some industry still not very much. We are mostly industrialized at this point. We don't have much uh, more to build up. Our economy is doing great. You can see that oil production 26,000. Goods and uh, food are also almost at uh, 20,000. 
thousand, so that's great. Raw materials at twenty six thousand and uh, metal at almost twenty one thousand. So in general, we are very good in the economy. I think you can keep building up if you really want to, but. I don't think I'm gonna keep doing that, I don't think there's a need to, especially at this point of the game since soon we'll really be finishing. Anyway, let's get to the production, I'm gonna get level 5 uh, tank plant in uh, Belgrade, and I'm gonna get these two units into Budapest, right, because we are going to invade Hungary next, after we take out Romania, so by uh, some rough calculations, in two days Romania should be dealt with, for sure. And then in like one day we can annex Hungary, let's say two days, so let's say we will end in four days, so that's gonna be day 14. So there should be about four more episodes, uh, probably not more than that though. And then we can already end the let's play, so pretty quick let's play, not very long but still pretty good. It could have been shorter even, but uh, yeah, Italy became a problem, so that delayed our expansion by let's say at least a minimum two days probably a lot more but still pretty fun i suppose too bad they didn't really invade us because i'd like that i would like to try to win against them but doesn't matter uh well we are done uh, with production probably almost done let's uh build we can build in uh sparta as well some heavy tanks and uh well this is just about the production we are still industrializing so we can't build units in every single city yet. But we will try to do that a little bit later. We also captured this island now, this Greek island. And uh, we got that supply drop and I actually got uh, better strategic bombers or uh, another blueprint for them. So as you can see, now I have 4 out of 6 so that's pretty good. I'm probably not gonna use them but still, that could be useful in the future. Anyway, let's go to research. Do we have anything? Well, probably not infantry. Level 7 is still not unlocked. It's gonna be in, uh, what is that, 2 days? Yep, 2 days and the uh, same with artillery, so that's too bad. By that time, we'll probably be ending the let's play. But we can get level 3 heavy tanks, which I will start researching. Try to get them. I also get level 4 interceptors. Uh, just uh, for no real reason, I guess. We won't be using them anyway. We can scout uh, Hungary, I guess, though. So you can see what they actually have. Before we invade them, of course. We'll invade them in a couple of days. And it'd be useful to know what they have. So let's uh, scout that, see what they have. Hopefully, they don't decide to remove uh, right of way with us. Because, well, right of way can definitely be very useful. We can annex them and uh, not have any problems with morale. Since we already have troops on every single province, that uh, means they won't revolt. Also, I think we will get a morale boost on those provinces because we captured Budapest, right, their capital. So I think they might not even try to revolt because uh, capturing a capital boosts uh, morale of the provinces you captured of that country, of course, right? So that might or might not work, depends. Because uh, you have to capture the capital after you capture the land, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's registered at the same time, so I think it should uh, still count. I don't actually know. I definitely uh, did things like that, right? I uh, annex countries that gave me right of way with just declaring war, right? But I'm not sure if uh, morale actually got 35%. Anyway, well, we are invading Romania, we're going to prepare to invade Hungary very soon. In a couple of days we should uh, actually end the let's play already. So yeah, I'm going to end the video already since we're done with everything. Romania is uh, done for, hopefully we should be able to win without a problem. I guess we'll see if we lose then. Well, we got a giant problem on our hands. Still, we can end it right here. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, you can go ahead and click the like button and even subscribe if you want to. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. So, see you then and goodbye.